Hey y'all, today I will be making over my sister Shayla. Hey girl. And today we're gonna do a pretty much natural look with a pop of color on her eyes. So right now I'm starting with the eyebrows and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Browers in Caramel. So I really like this shade on her because it's not too light and not too dark. It gives her a really natural look and you can apply as much pressure as you want and it won't get like that super dark ashy look. So if you want a more natural looking brow, I think this would be a great color if you are her around her skin tone. Work it, work it, okay, okay. Now I'm just going in with a concealer that's pretty much close to her skin color. This one is by Koki Cosmetics and it's in dark tan. No, I lied, deep tan, yeah. So I chose this color so that it'll be easier to blend out. Um, and when you choose a concealer that's like too light, you end up having like the halo around the eyebrow if you don't blend it out properly. So I picked the color very close to her skin tone so I can avoid that whole situation. Now I'm just creating that transition color using a darker brown. And this is from the Crayon Cases um, Contorsition Palette. And since we're going to be using glitter on her eyes, I decided to skip the whole primer step. Using the NYX Cosmetics Glitter Goals Kit, I'm using the gold color out of there along with the glue that came with the package. So Shayla's foundation is by Estee Lauder and it's Double Wear in Rich Caramel. So for under her eyes, I'm going to use the same concealer I used earlier, and it's by Koki Cosmetics in Deep Tan. Now I'm using my favorite blush by Milani Cosmetics, and this is in Coral Cove. Using another favorite of mine, I'm using this highlight by Queen's Life Cosmetics, and this is the Pink Lemonade Limited Edition Highlight. So for the inner corners of her eyes, I'm going to be using the NYX Cosmetics Prismatic Eyeshadow in Mermaid. So now I'm just brushing a dark brown eyeshadow on the bottom of her lids to create more depth and I'm lining her lips with a NYX pencil in Espresso. Mm -hmm. 
Using another NYX Cosmetics product, I am using the Lip Lingerie in Black Book. Here I'm just using a clean lip brush and blending the liner and lipstick together for a more gradient look. Now I'm just setting her face with Kiss Professional Setting Spray and um, sorry I had to drown you sis. Make sure you were snatched. <laughs> So this is a wig I dyed and created myself. The hair is from Maven Hair and it came with one frontal and three bundles and I dyed the hair using Lime Crime's Cherry Chocolate Hair Dye. So here is the final look. Big shout out to my big sister Shayla. Her Instagram will be linked below so you can see more of her. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Today, just did my hair, then my makeup got complete makeover. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but it's super cute. And she has her brushing go off somewhere. So I just decided to hack her camera and film some additional footage. So I love my hair, my normal hair you guys saw during the process is just curly and brown so this is a big very nice that change I'm very colorful and today, color and can't be going around that in my real hair hot breaks. pink so this is awesome and my glitter oh, no never okay my glitter eyes. eyes her edges and because if you're not it's so professional but I just want you guys to know I love it so glam is there, I'm gonna take a million selfies. And thank you, Jess. Are you Love you. Yes, yes, I am.